Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And let me just start off this video by saying that Verizon at this juncture, Verizon is going to do what they're going to do. Hans Vesberg is, is very stubborn and he's not going to change his agenda or his strategy for that matter. Right. He's now in, in charge of Verizon Consumer Group. Well, this just hit VCG not too long ago. Legacy unlimited pl price increases. Upcoming changes to legacy unlimited plans beginning March 2nd. Verizon postpaid consumer customers on select legacy unlimited plans will begin to receive notifications of a price increase on impacted accounts. So this is legacy plans, right? None of the newer plans are affected by this. This is going to be a $2 increase for legacy customers, likely pushing out, trying to push out those legacy customers and move them into the newer plans, right? More value and so on and so forth. That's, that's what Verizon is push, pushing, I believe, with this agenda. So interesting things, right? Legacy customers, you usually want to leave them alone, right? They've been there the longest. They have those legacy plans for a reason because they've been there so long. They don't they weren't interested in your newer plans to begin with. But now you want to jack up their rates, right? You never want to give the opportunity for those legacy customers to want to shop around. And in this case, with this increase, even though it's just two dollars, they may sh they may shop around and they may end up at T-Mobile or AT&T or some of the MVNO providers that partner with Verizon. So very interesting. You know, I've said for a, for a long time now that changes are coming to Verizon, good and bad. You know, this being the bad, they did it for tiered data plans. And now they're doing it for the Legacy Unlimited customers. And when, so I'll just throw this in to finish out the video. When, when you're not growing your base organically, right? When people are not coming through your doors, the only other way to increase revenue is you have to you have to increase pricing. And yes, fixed wireless access is growing and it's the only light right now at the end of the tunnel, but I don't think it's going to offset for the amount of people that they're losing. Right? They're losing entire accounts. So adding a, you know, $25, $30 home internet to somebody's plan is not going to offset Verizon losing entire accounts. And that's what's happening. When these customers are porting out to AT&T, T-Mobile, and even the MVNOs, they're losing money on, on those accounts, right? The MVNOs, they partially make back some of that money. But when that customer goes to T-Mobile or they go to AT&T, they lose out on that account altogether. Everything that was every single line no longer pays Verizon. So, again, investors are likely going to look at this as a healthy sign. Like, hey, Verizon's going to make more money on this. Verizon is looking at it from the last time that they did a price increase. They didn't get too much backlash. Not too many people left. So they they felt like, hey, this is the green light to raise prices again. And likely if this comes back, not too bad, Verizon might feel like they have the power to raise pricing again in the future. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I feel like this is not the right move to make right now because T-Mobile is, is, is gaining momentum off of this. at and still growing. So it, it seems like they're just ready to donate more customers, even if it's, you know, just a few 50, 60, 70,000 that they're donating. It's still customers that they're losing and that, that are no longer paying them monthly that we're paying them monthly for consecutive years. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel, like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See you all in the next one. Peace.